guys, it's Taryn again. Um, first off, I would like to thank everybody who has made requests um, for challenges on my first blog. If this is the first time you're seeing me, please feel free to go and read or listen or watch <laughs> my first blog, vlog, entitled Challenge Me. Um, and challenge me. Watch it, figure out what this is all about. Why the heck is this girl doing all these crazy things every week? So, um, and I'd also like to thank everybody who has thus far given me challenges to do because they've been pretty interesting and I definitely have my work cut out of me. <laughs> Thanks guys, keep them coming. So for my first challenge that I'm going to complete, a good friend of mine, Patrick, has asked for me to relay the story of how we met. Aww. Oh, Patrick, you know I love you. So it's uh, kind of a funny story, and it really does uh, bring out the inner nerd in both of us. See, this was way back about three years, three and a half years ago now. I'm not quite sure how long we've known each other. It feels like my whole life. And I was part of a live journal community dedicated to the band La Tigra. Some of you may have heard of them. They're awesome. Still love them. Lots of love. And I remember one day I was scrolling through the posts and I came across a video someone had posted of this very lanky, tall, kind of dorky looking guy rocking out to Decepticon. And if you've never heard the song, if you've never heard of La Tigre, it's pretty much the quintessential La Tigre song. Go download it now. Well, after you're done listening to me. So this... I, I watch this and I'm pretty much intrigued by this person. So I go into YouTube and I start watching this guy's blogs. And it turns out it's this guy from Russia and his whole blog, or his whole vlog rather, is about him coming to America and how bad he wants to come and how he's working to come to America. He's stuck living in his brother's basement and in Russia and he's trying to work his way out. So I start following this guy. I think I subscribed to him on YouTube. I know I started watching him because he posted on LiveJournal. It was pretty interesting. Well, some months go by, and I'm watching Sven's vlogs and whatever, and vlog um, Sven posts a vlog called Sven Has a Secret. Well, Sven's secret is that Sven is actually named Patrick. And Patrick has created this um, alter ego of sorts as a personal project on YouTube just to see pretty much how convincing he can be as a Russian. And um, I just thought the whole idea was brilliant. Um, made me laugh. Apparently, according to him, some people were quite pissed off that Sven wasn't real. But seriously, guys, this is the internet. If you take it too seriously, your head will explode. And, you know... So, me and Patrick started talking, um, had a pretty good rapport, going back and forth. I remember when we first met, we talked on the phone for hours and hours a night, because we're both so awesome like that. And, what was it, three? I can't remember when I first went out to see him. I flew out to Wisconsin after us talking for quite a while, because I get the travel bug and I like to take off different places. And we just hit it off great. And Patrick has, um, excuse me, I have to excuse my dog. He's, or you'll have to excuse my dog. He's running around like a madman. Right now, you gotta love Dexter. But, um, anywho, um, yeah, I went out to visit Patrick and we just really hit it off. And he is still one of my greatest friends. I went out to visit him. He came in to visit me. And I haven't seen that fucker in, like, a year and a half now and I miss him so bad and I wish that he would come and visit me again soon even though it's my turn because I'm trying to convince him to move to Pennsylvania because I think he would love it because Pennsylvania is just better than Wisconsin hands down. <laughs> so there you go in a nutshell that is how I met Patrick and hopefully Patrick I lived up to your standards as a storyteller probably forgot some details that you remembered and I'm sure you'll comment on this and give me some crap but it's all you're getting for now 
So I hope everybody out there in internet land has a great evening. Um, currently going to have to go to tend to my poochie because he is going crazy over there. Gotta love a Boston Terrier. So everybody have a great night and uh, I'll talk to you soon. <laughs>